Hello, welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Criterion. And in this edition, we'll be turning our attention to the Criterion title releasing on Tuesday, the 20th of February. And that is the 1964 film, Nothing But a Man. It's the debut directorial feature by Michael Romer, sensitively shot by his close collaborator, Robert M. Young. Now, these gentlemen were both classmates at Harvard, and they graduated in the class of 1949. Romer was born in Berlin in 1928, and at the age of 11, shortly before Germany invaded Poland in September of 1939, he was one of nearly 10,000 mostly Jewish children who were sent to British foster homes in the Kinder Transport programme. And in the US, Romer found in American blacks a history analogous to the centuries-long persecution of his own people in Europe. Robert M. Young's father was Al Young. He was the founder of New York's famous film laboratory, Duart. Founded in 1922, Duart was home to legions of independent documentary and experimental filmmakers. In fact, several years ago, when Duart cleared out the unclaimed negatives they had and print elements that had been stored on the site for decades, filmmakers and film archives, including the Academy Film Archive, were gifted with hundreds of nearly forgotten movies. Rumour's film, of course, was not one of the nearly lost. Nothing But A Man was Young's first feature credit. About a decade later, he directed his own first feature, Short Eyes, closely followed by Alambristra, which of course won the camera door at the 1978 Cannes Film Festival. A few years before shooting Nothing But A Man, Young had filmed in the South on an NBC television documentary titled Sit-In, which won a Peabody Award. Now, though the script was written quickly, casting for the film took several months. Charles Cordone was responsible for introducing the writers to some of the main talent at the time, including the Broadway actor Ivan Dixon, who went on to play the role of Staff Sergeant James Clinchlow on the CBS TV sitcom Hogan's Heroes, and jazz great Abby Lincoln. Julius Harris made his acting debut in the film playing Duff's father. Harris was a nurse before he was cast, but had always wanted to act. And Jafet Koto also had his first credited movie role in the film, and he played a real road worker. Both Harris and Koto, of course, went on to appear in many more films and television programmes over the next four decades. Young and Romer decided to do research for this script by taking a reverse underground railroad road trip, driving deep into the heart of the South. The sense of place of small town Alabama permeates the visuals in the film. African-American real worker Duff Anderson, played by Ivan Dixon, has left his four-year-old son with a nanny, and now he drifts through life with little ambition. Duff's outlook on life changes when he meets schoolteacher Josie Dawson, played by Abby Lincoln. She's a gentle preacher's daughter, and although Josie's father, that's Stanley Green, disapproves of Duff's lifestyle, the two eventually marry. Duff and Josie struggle to hold on to their marriage as Duff must face up to the oppressive racism that was present in 1960s America. Nothing But a Man was photographed in 35mm black and white in the classic 1 by 137 Academy aspect ratio, rather than the ubiquitous 1 by 185. The aspect ratio mirrors most of the 16mm cinema verite documentaries of the time, but young cinematography is anything but verite. Critics have cited Italian neorealism as the film's visual influence. And what is most striking about the cinematography is its crafted professionalism in the lighting, composition and the shot selection. In fact, it honours some of the classic American studio cinematography while embracing the advances of 1960s lightweight reflex cameras, enabling intimate imagery in practical locations rather than studio sets. You can compare the open style of this film with two great black and white studio films shot in the anamorphic format just a few years earlier. That would be The Hustler and HUD. Both of these, of course, won Academy Awards for their cinematography. An unexpected element in Romer's film is the use of early 1960s pop songs on the soundtrack. 
two decades, in fact, before the groundbreaking use of Motown hits in the film, for instance, The Big Chill. In fact, nothing but a man marked the first licensed use of Motown hits in a movie, featuring songs by Stevie Wonder, The Miracles, Martha and the Vandellas, and Mary Wells. And the rights are reported to have been acquired for just $5,000. That's a steal even then. Abby Lincoln was no gilded pop jazz celebrity. Her music reflected urgent themes of the fight for racial freedom. And during this time, she was married to the percussionist and fellow activist, Max Roach. In the film, Lincoln sings Drive a Man, the first of the five tracks from Roach's Freedom Now Suite. Tenor saxophonist Clifford Jordan plays second solo to Lincoln, and the original vinyl recording of the soundtrack featured Coleman Hawkins. Now, the cast of the film consists of Ivan Dixon as Duff Anderson, Abby Lincoln as Josie Dawson, Yafet Koto as Jocko, Leonard Parker as Frankie, Stanley Green as Reverend Dawson, Eugene Wood as Johnson, Helen Lunk as Effie Sims, and Julius Harris as Will Anderson, that's Duff's father. In fact, the film was almost titled Duff Anderson, but thankfully, changed at the last minute to the more suitable Nothing But A Man. Now the features contained on the Blu-ray disc are new restored 4K digital master, which is approved by the director Michael Romer with uncompressed mono soundtrack. An introduction to Michael Romer, that's a new interview program featuring Romer himself. Conversation from 2004 between Romer and co-producer and cinematographer Robert M. Young. Programme featuring archival interviews with the actors Ivan Dixon, Abby Lincoln and Julius Harris. And as always, there's an essay written by the critic Jean Seymour. And the cover design for the disc is by Katya Mesigabozkaya. And with a running time of 91 minutes, the film comes in a 137 by 1 aspect ratio and joins the Criterion Collection on Tuesday the 20th of February the Spine 1209. Admired by Malcolm X and now recognised as a landmark of American cinema, Nothing But A Man grounds its social critique in characters of unforgettable complexity and truth. In the next edition, we can look forward to going back to the Roaring Twenties, coming to us in 4K UHD, and look out soon for a deep dive into the current physical media offering by Mubi, coming to the channel soon. So, until then, from me, as always, it's goodbye, and above all, good Criterion viewing. Feeling like I need you, baby.